super quiet, uses an under lever, and offers a 12-shot rapid mag, the Umarex Synergist. Silenced by ingenious noise-dampening air expansion chambers, this innovative 177 caliber pellet rifle uses an under-lever design that's easier to use. Combined with its inherently accurate and patented inline airflow boost technology, the Synergist automatically indexes all 12 rounds of its removable, easy-to-load 12X Rapid Mag and calls on its Umarex TNT gas piston to generate its 1,000 feet per second of pure targeted speed. The single shot pellet rifle is no more. Get all 12 shots with the Umarex Synergist from your favorite air gun retailer. Whisper CFR. The CFR is the first Whisper air rifle with a fixed barrel. The integrated ND52 noise dampener system makes this the quiet gun while the fixed rifled steel barrel with under lever cocking system and rotating breech loading system ensures long lasting accuracy. The 1100 feet per second with PVA Platinum ammo turns this air rifle into the ultimate varmint hunter. The Whisper CFR is also equipped with a thumb hole stock, 4x32 air rifle scope, adjustable cheek piece, and the newly designed recoil pad with up to 74% more recoil absorption, allowing more comfortable shooting than ever. Hey guys, this is Chip from Crossman. I'm with John Alvord, the product manager for the brand new Benjamin Mav 77. This is a, an, an under lever gun, meaning it cocks from beneath the gun. And it's not a, a, a new design, but we've made uh, a lot of upgrades to it. We're gonna go over them with John. John, tell us about the new gun. Oh, one of the upgrades that we've um, had is we've got a brand new uh, stock that was designed for this gun. It's all hardwood and it's ambidextrous. Another improvement was that we improved the trigger mechanism so it has a much better feel uh, when you're firing. And then another improvement that we did is there's a ratchet system here when you cock the gun, it comes down like this, and this ratchet system locks into place, and that's a safety feature. We've also improved the function of that as well. Some of the advantages of the MAV-77 would be the fixed barrel, which would give you improved accuracy, and then also the way the lever the um, leverage, the way it's packed, is much easier than a standard brake barrel. We're very excited about this new product and we think it's going to do very well. Hey, JB here, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Got a uh, target set down, downrange, 150 yards. And there's an Air Gun Depot golf ball sitting down there on top of a tin can that's on top of a bucket. 150 yards, we've got a Walther LGU Varmint here. A fairly new gun. I put maybe, I don't know, 30 rounds through it. So it's really not even broken in yet. Uh, and then I've got a, a 4 to 12 by 40 adjustable objective scope on here. Uh, it's a really smooth shooter. Uh, you can tell some, yeah, we'll see, inconsistencies in pellet, perhaps, uh, diameter. Um, I'm attempting to do this with an 18 grain JSP. So, uh, yeah, might as well get at it, see if I can uh, get this 150 yard shot for my Long Ranger patch. This was on top of the can. You saw it in the camera when he zoomed in. And sitting there. Hey everybody, I'm David with Umarex. I'm out on the range today with the RWS 
Model 48. Now, this is an air rifle that has a little bit of a twist. Most of us are familiar with traditional pumps with brake action, maybe even the old-fashioned lever action with the CO2 capsules that you put in. The 48 has a side arm. Pull it back and it ratchets down your air, compresses everything you need back here. But the distinct movement takes this arm out to the side. There's one thing you have to remember with the 48, and that is that you have to push this lever right here to get the handle back. If you don't, it locks open and you might end up bending your arm, the actuating arm, when you are returning into battery. So this one happens to be a 22. Very easy to load. Plenty of room in here to get your thumb in. Close it up. It's nice and secure. You have a safety right here that automatically actuates when you cock the rifle. So you need to move it back to red where you can't see the white when you're ready to shoot. Till then, keep it on safe. Run your thumb right up when you're ready to fire. It's very easy to push it in just slightly. 